Okay guys, guys, here's some brand new technology. You see this? Ladies and greys and CRT modern technology, just joking. Get this recently. What you see here is a box for the new Mac Mini. With the my center a few minutes ago, and yeah, they came in yesterday and only two are left and I was looking enough to get it. So, let me go ahead and unbox this thing. Is a kit I don't need. Cut to the UPS portion of it. Now it will be disappointing if this is what's the actual box, but I doubt it because this is Apple that we're talking about, and I doubt they was giving you a plain brown box. So we open it up. Da -da -da -da. Da -da -da -da. Ladies and gentlemen, there it is. The new Mac Mini. After two years of no refreshes, it's finally here. Focus. As you can see here, we have your power, gigabyte ethernet, HDMI, two Thunderbolts, three USBs, SD card, headphone jacks, and of course, they say, you know what? Skip your VGA because it's obsolete. I know this is kind of janky the way I'm doing it, but it's kind of hard to actually open a box and record at the same time. So, you can probably see the reflection of my keys right there pulling the plastic off. So, this is actually brand new seal from Apple. Kind of slide this portion out. You can hear it. <laughs> you can slid out. Okay, so now we have this part. And you look in. Da -da -da -da. You have your Mac Mini. So basically, once you pull this out, this you have left in there. You have your power cable then I pull this and I believe this should be an instruction booklet or startup guide and that's about it so no startup disk of course there's no DVD ROM drive and then okay, no Mac Mini itself you'll notice there she is this bit of plastic hanging off of it right here so at this point you actually need to flip it over And now you have your Mac Mini, and you got this nice cool stand that says Mac Mini. That's the bottom. And now let's look at the back of this thing. Have your power, Ethernet, HDMI, cooling vents, USB 3.0, audio ports. And ladies and gentlemen, that's it. That's your Mac Mini. Turn around. All you're going to see here is the power because now, according to Apple, optical drives are not obsolete. Okay, likewise, you guys know how to get a keyboard because it doesn't come with it, nor does a mouse. So I went ahead and got the standard Apple keyboard with a numeric pad. And to show you how to set up looks, this is it. So this is the keyboard, the Mac Mini, and then I had an old Mac Alley mouse, which works perfectly fine with this. Laugh out loud. <laughs> so yeah, this also has its own plastic. I guess this is converted if you have like a USB 2, but since the Mac Mini comes with USB 3, I don't think I'm going to need this. Got this is a little converter spot. So basically, put the plastic off and you're all set to go. Okay, now for the moment of truth. Hit power. Go to this input button right here on my machine. Go to HDMI. And I hit the power button on the Mac. HDMI 1080p. Let's get a sign. As you can see here, the Mac Mini booted up with no problem. And right now it's going through this initial loading screen. So it's going to take a while to load everything in here and I should be good to go. And ta da! Mouse point just appeared. Beach ball. 
Now this initial screen comes up and I do an actual setup. Oh, that's why get... this pops up during the setup. And actually, since I already have G Drive or Google Drive and Dropbox, no, I won't update that. Team, so basically you go through the whole mumble jumbo to get everything set up. So ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Yosemite! So, wait a minute, let me see what I have on here. Of course we have Finder. Launchpad. Safari. Mail. Contacts, calendar, notes, maps, messages. Oh, FaceTime. <laughs> no, I need to get a camera for that. As if USB one sitting around somewhere, so I'll just pop that in. Pages, so you have your office tools, numbers for Excel sheets, spreadsheets, keynote presentations, and of course, iTunes, iBooks, and the App Store. Yeah, so I think I'll go ahead and see if I can get a movie, try to figure out if that's on here or not. So let me go back to Finder. Go to Applications, see what we have on here. Keynote. Photo booth. Okay, iPhoto's on here, GarageBand, sweet, iMovie is here, so it does come with it, guys. Just that had an icon on the bottom of the screen. And, of course, it comes with the game of chess. Laugh out loud, remote disc. And it actually looks like a CD-ROM, even though according to Apple, you don't need them anymore. It's conspiracy, I tell you. Yeah, so guys, on that show, that's basically what we have here. So, I'll probably play around this a little bit more later on. And so I can tell you this, I can get a clear picture than just using my HD camera. As you can see, it actually is using the full screen. It's not cropping anything out. So you have an HD, sorry, HD monitor, HD TV with HDMI out. It will use the entire screen, so it's cropping it out on like Windows 7. All right, so, so far, so good. Everything is good to go. Easy setup. And I'll review for you guys later on. Peace okay, out. Okay, one cool feature I just found out about. Actually, let me dim the lights. So, so you know how they talk about full screen apps. When they say full screen apps, they really mean full screen apps. Voice saying, check this out. So I maximize it. And it's literally taking the entire screen now. And of course, to go back to it, you pretty much roll your mouse over the top. Either this way to exit it, or when you scroll back up, hit the green button to restore it. <laughs> cool little nice little nifty feature. So when they say full screen apps, they really mean it. Kind of emulate what Windows 8 was doing with the Metro store, but actually more effectively and a lot cleaner and definitely much better.